Hi everybody, my name is Susan Schulz from the Evaco and I want to show you a short introduction into the platform manager, especially um, for the promotion manager role. Based on the fact in the last video, in the last vi short video, we had a, sh um, a view on the developer and now we're coming to the second role, the promotion manager. So coming into the welcome screen, um, the promotion manager only has access or normally only has access to its promotion area. Taking a look into the promotion area, it's nearly the same um, view that the developer has. On the left side, there are the um, stages with the folder he's able to see and he's allowed to see. And coming to the management folder, we have our client arrivals, click you file, which the developer promoted previously to the acceptance stage. So maybe after a week or something else, the testers tested it on the access point and said, okay, that's fine for me. Um, please um, give the, the final approval for that, that we can put it on production. So I'm as a promotion manager have now the role to give this approval to it. What I can directly see is here on the uh, promotion state that the error is not filled up. That means that this version is newer than the version on the production. And we have a workflow state which said, okay, this is initial. That means that currently um, I don't uh, give and proactively reject or approval to this file. So shortly taking a look what changed between the previous version, I can take two versions I want to compare, do a difference analysis on that. So easily I get the information, okay, that in the, in the graph there was a change. I can click on it and get directly to the section where I can see, okay, this um, in the newer version, there's a pie chart which were not existing on the previous version. So I have I'm clearly, or it's clear for me what I have to test now, going back to the platform manager. I can then easily do a view, which means I go to the um, access point and take a look at this at this file on the access point. Additionally to that, I can download it to um, take a look on my uh, local machine to this file. And when I'm feeling fine and said, okay, that's okay for me, that's fine for me, I can do a change state. Clicking on change state, I have a comment field where I can put in some comments to that and here I have to pro proactively reject this file or approve this file if I'm feeling fine with that. And after I did this improvement, the state, the workflow state changed. And additionally to that, I had the possibility, and it's not grayed out, that I can promote this file. So clicking on promote, I get to the screen where I want to promote this file to. Um, I can go through the trees or use the auto promote when I, I um, promoted it previously, clicking on next. And what we see additionally is that this uh, is changed, the error is changed on the promotion state so that we are working on the same version on acceptance and, and production. So after a week or more, or just a few hours, the business calls me and said, okay, there was an error in this um, in this um, pie chart, I have to change the calculation. Can we roll back to the previous version? It's much more easier than uh, without the platform manager. So we can go on one way directly to the production, can go in our folder where we uh, uh, promote this file, have it here in the newest version, can go to our version history, tag a previous version, which I want to restore, do a right mouse click, click on restore, can give a comment why to restore that, click on the restore button, and now on production the previous version is now restored, and um, the task can pick up the, the previous version to distribute it to the access point, and the business user can easily work with the previous version. Additionally to that, I can go to the developer and said, okay, that there was an error in the pie chart, and that we can um, that he has to, to change this. And after that, the workflow works as usual. 
The same I can do with the release view, so I can put all my releases I did I had before. Um, can put it um, easily. Um, can approve this whole release and then put it additionally on production with the promote function. So this was just a short overview of the um, yeah of the task of the promotion manager and how he can handle it easily with the uh, platform manager. So we have an active active improvement of each click you file and we can track this easily um, with the data in, in the database of the platform manager. So here we can easily promote or actively approve things and we can do the rollbacks of click you files with the help of the platform manager. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. And yeah, goodbye. Thank you.